implementation of a queue learning agent for NIM, um, it would be good for you to see the the Skittles reinforcement learning uh, video first. I may use some some elements from from there, uh, but I'm just starting from the the basic uh, implementation of NIM, where you have the initial state, valid moves, show state, update state, win status, human move, perfect move, random move. These are the, the three agents that I might end up using. Um, so uh, again, in order to make the agent, I need to make a move function. Uh, the move function always takes the state the player and in this case some info for the the queue table um, for historical purposes the table is generally called queue uh, and we want to get last action um, and the last state from the um, from from that info for queue learning there's also a few uh, parameters there's a learning rate which is called alpha um, and we'll be setting those when we set up the uh, the agent. There's a gamma, which is a, so this is a, the learning rate. Um, there's a gamma, which is kind of like a memory, kind of how much how much do you weight the uh, uh, prior memory, how much fast does the weight the, the decay, and epsilon, uh, uh, which is um, which is the uh, kind of uh, probability of doing a random move. And so what happens is um, most of the time we're going to try to do the best move, but, but sometimes we, we want the agent to do a random move to force it into areas that it wouldn't otherwise see, and that broadens its learning. Okay, uh, like before, if, this, if the, uh, uh, the state is not in the table, we need to make a, an entry in that table, which is another table for all the uh, actions. We go through all the actions um, in the valid moves, um, and we add a, an, an element uh, for that action and we started off at zero. So this is, is very similar to the to the uh, um, um, uh, Skittles agent. Um, now to deal with the epsilon, so if random dot random, so that generates a random number between one and is between zero and one. If it's less than epsilon, then we're gonna do a random move. So we're just gonna simply return random move given the value of um, the uh, thing. Actually, I think we'll I think we'll do it a little bit different. We'll do a random choice of all of the uh, um, uh, possible things that we've learned. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to um, actually actually I think I'll go. I'll do it a little bit. I won't return right now. We'll say action is equal to that, and that will that way we can learn from that. So either my action is a random choice or it's going to be the top choice. Okay, so that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to do it. Um, we have to deal with the, uh, uh, the uh, case most of the time when, um, you know, essentially if they're you know, throughout the game, except for the first move, uh, we're going to learn. So if the, uh, if not the last action is none. So pretty much, you know, anything but anything but the first move, which you can't really learn uh, learn from. This is in the middle of the game. We have uh, um, uh, reward of zero, and then we update our table for the last state and the last action to be to to include the reward. Okay, so we do the learning rate times we have the reward plus. So we're gonna have a few 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 terms here. I'm gonna put them on different lines just to make it a little a little clearer. Uh, we have the um, essentially the memory. I want to choose the maximum. I'm gonna bring this over because it's kind of a long line. This is the equation in the uh, uh, description. Um, so I want the maximum value of my 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 table for uh, all the actions uh, 
allowed. And yes, okay. So, so what this does is it generates uh, kind of a list of all the values in my table for all the for for all all the actions. gets gets that finds the maximum value value. So basically, that's the best possible reward I could get estimated uh, at this time for all these different actions. I get the maximum of that, and uh, and that's kind of part of my reward. And I um, compare that to just the the last state and the last action and the value associated with with that. So what this is doing is it's updating uh, uh, my value for late last state last action. So that's a little closer to the reward plus my estimate of 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 the uh, kind of the current reward plus my estimate for the best I can I can possibly do. So after learning that's when I can return my action. So that gets me my um, uh, right. now to define the agent I just simply do the uh, agent Q move. Um, I also have to just like the Skittles agent I have to have a function that's called afterward uh, and you know, I'll call it Q post just to be a bit more consistent. It's take, given the win status, the player, and the info. And I'm going to steal a lot of this stuff from here. So basically, all of the parameters and pieces of, uh, of info are there. And uh, if and then we have to do the status, if the status is equal to lose, then my reward is negative one. Otherwise, if the status is equal to win, then my reward is, is plus one. Otherwise, the reward is zero. And then I can, I can steal these lines from up here and plop them right in there. And notice, I make sure to get rid of the r equals zero there. And, then that, and that updates my, my, my Q. Um, value and since it is the last one I don't need to uh, include this chunk here because it's it's not um, um, it's the last state I have a definite reward and then and, uh, and then I, I have that um, so Q agent dot post is equal to Q post Q agent dot Q is equal to remember, and I'm going to give it a file name this time. Um, Q data dot dot just, to, just so that it, I have a little bit more control over that. Notice when when this is uh, saving it, saving my learned stuff to my learned table to a file. It's going to be uh, here. I'm recalling it, and if and it will it will start off with an empty table otherwise. I still need to set the parameters, so things like alpha, the learning rate, the gamma, this is the memory, that epsilon is the kind of the random, you know, chance of making a random move. So now we can, you know, we we can try um, you know, is a, a game. Let's do um, uh, do that run uh, Q agent versus perfect agent and do that report. Okay, and hopefully this all it actually works and the. Um, and here it's actually somehow playing much better than it, than it, than it should. But I'm going to uh, uh, debug this in another video just to make sure that uh, um, there's no mistakes and this video is long enough. So there will be a part two of working with the queue learning uh, for NIMH.